Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a nice little chit chat, get ready with me video. I feel like I haven't sat down and actually talked to you, my subscribers yet on this channel. We're so small now and I feel like everyone that's supported me thus far like deserves to actually hear from me every once in a while. I feel like this is a perfect time for me right now to do like a little chit chat, get ready with me. I am fresh out of work. I've just been chilling at home. I took a shower. I just want to get done up, put some makeup on, put a cute little outfit on and just transition out of the work week it's been just i'm just tired but if you're like me you love to do things like your makeup or get done up just to make yourself feel good again and last week you know i had that self-care moment for myself and i absolutely needed that but doing my makeup getting done up for no reason is also just like another form of self-care so i feel like this would be perfect yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today if you are new here hi hello my name is shauna i make beauty related videos lifestyle related videos and then i also like to vlog my little life because it's just fun and why not if you like videos like that then just subscribe and join us we're small now but who knows where we'll be in a few years manifesting and we're just gonna get right into it because i'm ready to get out of this mode right now so i don't know what i'm gonna talk about today honestly i feel like i'm just gonna wing it i get really awkward on camera and i'm just getting used to speaking on camera and talking and saying meaningful things like not forgetting what i want to say you know that could add value to my videos so i'm working on that adding more substance saying more valuable things so i feel like this would be the perfect practice for me to just talk and get more comfortable in front of the camera just talking to you guys so yeah so i'm gonna just start off with my hair i put this on just to um mask my hair but since we we're past that and we're already here let's just take it off so i'm going to be doing a braided ponytail i'm going to just insert a photo of like my inspo for today's hair i've been attempting like here and there to try it out the past few days but it not the past few days past few weeks like every time like, i'll go touch i'll go pick up my braiding hair and i'll be like oh um let me try it and then i'm like fail so today i'm determined to try this and hopefully it will work out i have high hopes because i'm kind of in a decent mood right now so i am hoping that this will work itself out i'm just gonna part my hair um off i like to just start off by detangling my hair this is the twist that i had in my self-care video last week i just wore my hair mostly in a ponytail uh this week like i thought i would so there's that so i'm just gonna spray some water this is just water in a old mario badesco bottle i mean i saved these because for a minute there i had so many bottles of rose water thanks to my girlfriend. And sometimes I use it to spray my cat just because he likes to act a fool. I mean, I don't spray him often. Last year when we first got him and he was a kit and I needed to use it a lot more often, but he's more trained now. He listens because he don't have no damn choice. So I'm just gonna detangle this and while I detangle this, I just wanna talk to you guys about my week. So this week I had work. This is my third week at my newest job. Ever since January, I've been having some trouble like finding jobs that I feel like are kind of worth my time. And like, I feel like that sounds really like pretentious in a way. And like, really like, like, who are you? You're like, who am I like to turn down any job? But I feel like if the atmosphere isn't right, if you know, you feel like you're already being mistreated within like the first few days of you being there and you're or like the chemistry with the people there is just something that you're just not vibing with you have every right to leave that place no matter if you started you know two weeks ago two months ago five years ago like you're you could be val you know someone will value you elsewhere if you know what i mean so 
I just kind of have that mentality about jobs. I've been putting in the effort to find jobs and everything and like to give you context, I just graduated from college at the end of December 2019. And so I've kind of just been like in the midst of a transition in my life. I just wasn't finding any jobs that I was just like feeling comfortable in. Sorry, I keep losing my train of thought, but um, basically it's just been kind of like a hit or miss with these jobs. And then, um, well, they've mostly been misses. And then I'll, and then Corona happened and it's just, it made things much harder for a few months, but I finally am at a job where I feel like I'm gonna be here for a while. Um, it's a perfect job where I'm working first shift. I get out at a decent time and I don't, my whole day is not gone. So like, honestly, it's like the perfect scenario for me right now because I do wanna go back to school or at least start focusing on the next steps in my career and having more time for things like YouTube and getting more content out there and improving on my content and uh, possibly creating a brand and creating all these different things that I want to create. So the job I have now seems like a perfect fit for me at the moment. So I'm very happy about that. With that being said, it's kind of helped to settle a lot of things that are going on in my life. like. A lot of things were up and down for a while like this year has been really crazy and i'm not saying that 2020 is still fucking crazy but things for my personal life are starting to finally settle down a little bit and it's like it's nice to kind of have that little bit of a weight off my shoulder so that i can focus on a lot more other things you know like like i was saying my content and then also, you know, my activism and all that different kinds of stuff that, you know, matters. And then, like, I really want to get back into my passions. And, you know, a big thing that I really wanted to talk about that, like, I've been kind of interested in and looking into recently is this thing called Law of Attraction. And I've been I've been a big on manifesting regardless. Like, energies have been a concept that has been in my life since college I think like I don't know who I interacted with or who I met that kind of introduced me to it I really don't know what brought my mind to it but I feel like there was a lot of things happening that once that kind of like made me realize like how I feel about my own spirituality and you know religion and all that kind of stuff the law of attraction is basically a way for you to manifest things to come into your life as if they're already happening now. And that's like the way that a lot of people explain it. And so to give you like a general idea, because that's literally what I have uh, for knowledge right now, because I'm literally going to start reading books. And like I was saying, I want to get into hobbies. So old hobbies, like things I used to do, like reading, I used to do all the time. So I'm trying to get back into that now that I have more time. So the law of attraction. So you manifest by saying out loud and then also you can script so you can write what you are desiring. And um, it's just your wants and desires in life and you know, the kind of person you aspire to be and all that kind of stuff. And it also all like hones in on the idea of gratitude and like, you know, asking for all these things from the universe, but also showing that like, you are grateful for what you already do have. And, you know, there's a lot of things that kind of revolve around this idea of law of attraction. And I'm definitely gonna read and more and do more research on it. So, so yeah, I wanna get into more hobbies, like reading books. And I feel like I'm kind of at a spot where, I know I want to learn more, but my whole life has been school. And so learning outside of that environment is kind of like you try. I'm like trying to find my feet and my footing and like where to start. Like, I don't know if anyone gets what I'm saying, but like if you know, like life after college, like and you've been like a student forever and you kind of come to a place where you're just like, what does this person like? What do I like? Who am I? because you, your identity associated so much with your education and there's nothing wrong with that. Like that's been my whole life and that's kind of made me the person I am. That's given me the drive that I have today. Like, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, it's like, I've kind of like forgotten what I like to do that doesn't revolve around, you know, going to the bar with my friends and 
then like my my past time is you know chilling with people and doing homework like that was literally what I did for the past four and a half years so it's just like <laughs> I'm kind of in a spot where I'm kind of just rediscovering everything and that's what I think drove me to start this YouTube channel because to be honest like I tell people this all the time like I've been I've wanted to start a YouTube channel since I was like like 15 16 like obsessing over my favorite youtubers at the time like I literally was like this is something I want to do but there was always this thing called fear that just stopped me from imagining that anyone would ever watch what I put on the internet or that anyone would resonate with someone like me like I don't I was at that I don't know like I really didn't believe in myself and honestly up until I started creating this channel I didn't really believe in myself still like I didn't believe like anyone was gonna watch it and even when I post a video I'm like scared I get nervous I'm like I hope people enjoy this I hope people resonate with me like, no I still haven't shown my full personality online yet but it's kind of like a wall that you have to slowly break down the more you get comfortable with it and I'm finding myself slowly getting more in tune with like being confident in front of the camera i mean my girlfriend's a photographer and she takes pictures of me all the time and to this day like i'm still awkward like i don't like it's something that you kind of just have to get used to it feels like a portion like it's kind it feels like a version of vulnerability a little bit because you're kind of opening yourself up to you know whoever could possibly be watching you so it can be a little bit scary but i'm finding that the more that i'm trying this um, the more I'm enjoying it, the more I'm finding that I actually like editing and the art of like creating this, the whole masterpiece of a video. Like, honestly, it's kind of, it's, a, it's like an accomplishment. It's nice. It's like, it's like I'm looking forward to something every week when I'm going to record my video. And like, I look forward to planning out my videos. Like planning is something I love to do. I'm a, I'm a list writer. I love <laughs> like writing lists and being upset like obsessing over tasks like that brings me joy i don't know <laughs> i don't know it's like i'm very i'm a very organized person i love stuff like that so you know it gives me something to look forward to and so being on here has been really enjoyable and it's been fun so far so i hope that you guys are enjoying this stuff so far i'm trying to think of new and better ways to make my videos better and bring in like fun content to watch um i'm still getting my footing into like the kind of my niche you know i'm still getting into my niche of the vi of these videos and like where i will kind of like have most of my videos centralized but i feel like i kind of just have a grasp on just like beauty related things and i haven't posted a vlog yet but I will have one go up. I will hopefully have a vlog go up at least, if not by the end of this this month and sometime in September. So I'm just gonna like finish gelling everything down and getting everything into a ponytail, including my edges off camera. It's definitely like that takes a lot of time to do and we don't need all that footage. Okay, so I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and gelled everything back. I've got a, my wrap on to just hold it in place. We've got two clips holding it because I fold it. It's a do-rag and I had to like fold it back so that I could get to my hair back here. So I had to just clip it up on the sides, no biggie. To hold everything spray-wise, I am, I went ahead and used the Pump It Up spritz. And then for my edges, I went ahead and used the Style Factor Edge Booster. And the scent that I have is the Coconut Banana. To mold my hair, I just used the Murray's Beeswax. I love this stuff. Now what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to attempt to braid my hair. This is the part that is the hardest part. Everything else I just did is the part that I'm able to complete, no problem. This next part is the part that's hard. The braiding hair I'm gonna be using today is the Free Trust Braid. Um, it's just natural texture, all that good stuff. I'm gonna attempt this braid off camera because I'm getting a little irritated and we're gonna see if it actually works out. Cause I'm not gonna edit a bunch of footage if it's not gonna work out. Let me get off this shit. All right, you guys, so I have completed the braid. I basically have some curlies coming up at the top, so I just popped some gel on there and wrapped it. And I'm gonna just leave it like that until I'm done getting ready. While braiding, I kind of caught onto some hair in the back, which 
is annoying. So I'm just gonna gel that up and then we're going to get to the makeup. It's finally time to get this makeup done. Now onto my favorite part, just because y'all know I love to beat my face. I'm not gonna do like a crazy beat face or anything like of the sort, but I just wanna do like something done up, so. All right, so remember how I was telling you, okay, so just as I was telling you guys about my new job and things settling back down, thankfully, we are going to be going to Connecticut a lot uh, starting next weekend. We'll be there like three weekends in a row and then we'll be there for my birthday at the end of September for a day or two to hang out with my family. I have a lot of birthdays at the end of the month and then also because I just have free time I want to spend as much time with my family before school starts back up um my mom is definitely not sending my siblings to school she is not allowing that she's going to be doing the virtual thing for the kids so thank god for that I don't have to worry about their safety the only thing that I'm worried about now is just the fact that like uh you know they're missing out on the experiences you know it's my brother's last year of high school and so that's a little bit like you know, I feel for him there. It's just like, it's a lot right now. So with everything, you know, I just want to be able to go back home a few times before the summer's over. My mom has been wanting to plan like a few family related things. So she wants to spend time with individually all of the siblings and then something all together. So that is something that like, that is in the plans for me. So that's why I'm kind of going home a lot. And then also, I need the break. So I'm excited to go home and spend time with my family. My baby cousin turns two this year. Oh my goodness. He's already two, it's crazy. He has grown up so much. Uh, like, he's just like the smartest little guy. I can't wait to see him. JC is his favorite person, so she can't wait to see him either. So yeah, it's just like an all around rest of the summer is gonna be all family related. I'm gonna get my hair done next weekend just cause I want a protective style. Um, and I have some fam, my family does my hair. So I'm gonna go make sure that I get that all squared away because there really isn't anyone up here. I know a lot of people down in Connecticut that do hair. I don't know people here that do hair. So yeah, um, I have family that does hair and um, I can't wait to see her. Like I'm just excited we're gonna hang out. We're gonna, she's gonna do my hair and then hopefully we'll you know just have some drinks and just chill out for a little while. So I'm looking forward to some quality time with my peeps. You know what I'm saying? We plan to take cash with us the second weekend. We don't want to take them with us next weekend because it's going to be a lot more chill with the next, next weekend. Um, I think we're bringing him because it's either a longer weekend or something. I don't remember. I don't even know if we're going to bring him then because we have that party and there's a lot. So we contemplate bringing cash with us with him being a kitten for the past, you know, he just turned one in June. And so we've taken him back and forth with us. And a lot of cats don't like cars, but we have been able to get him to be okay. I think at this point, he's like really got no choice but to suck it up and be in the car. <laughs> so I think right at this point, he's like, he'll meow for a second, but I think cause you know, we've gotten him a better bag where he can actually see outside the bag. And like, cause the crate we had before was like getting way too small and it had like just tiny holes at the top. and. It was cute, but it was only cute because when he was a kitten, like, you know what I mean? So we got him a nice cute bag where he can literally see through the whole thing. There's only like two sides of it that aren't mesh. And it's nice because he just like will sit in the car and he'll just watch the trees go by and he'll be quiet. And then eventually he'll just fall asleep. With that, it's like he's kind of just gotten used to being in the car and he's just like, He's like chill, he's like, he's, a ch he's my chill little guy. He just likes to chill out in the car. So we've gotten him used to the car now. Um, so that's not a battle anymore. It's just whether or not we want to take him. I mean, taking him is all like taking a child and like, I don't want to compare a, a, having a cat to having a child, but you know, you have to pack everything. You have to make sure you've got all the things that make them comfortable because cats aren't like dogs where they're comfortable everywhere they go. They are very protective of their environment and very protective of their space. 
So it's hard to, you know, get him comfortable at my mom's house. The first few days is always hard, but my mom has another cat that he's familiar with and eventually they kind of just play around and, you know, mess around with each other. And I really don't have to worry about leaving him at my mom's house alone because he really isn't alone. He has her as much as she likes to give him shit and she really doesn't fuck with him like that. She, she still keeps him company. They play um, and they have a good time. So it's not like he's alone or with strangers or in like a completely like unfamiliar environment. He's been in my mom's house plenty of times. So we bring him sometimes, but not all the time. <laughs> by the way, I'm using my Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS in the shade Macadamia. I have used this prior in a previous video. This is my go-to concealer. This is my Holy Grail. This is the one that I opt for. Um, and also my eyebrows haven't been done in a very long time and that is on purpose. I am just growing them out because there has been some sparseness and I just felt like Maybe the last time that I plucked my eyebrows, I might have over plucked a little bit. So I'm just growing them out a little bit. And then when I go back home, I'm gonna go to my eyebrow lady and just have her clean me up. I have just been shedding so many negative ideas about myself. And I really wanted to talk to you guys about it because I feel like you guys don't really know me well. And the only way you're gonna get to know me is if I let you in, right? So I'm gonna be using my Tinted Moisturizer by NARS. It has SPF 30 in it. The only reason why I'm using this right now is because I don't have a foundation that matches my tan. I got so tan in Texas that it's the only thing that matches me at the moment, so. And it's fine because I don't really wanna go for a super full coverage. This Tinted Moisturizer has enough coverage that it's gonna give me the coverage I need for this everyday, you know, look. So back to what I was saying, I have been shedding so many ideas about myself over like I don't know like I've had I feel like I've had different chapters where and I feel like they kind of associate with like what level of schooling I was at because that's kind of how I've measured time is like when I was in school and you know what grade I was in I genuinely felt like in high school I'd found myself on another level because I knew what I wanted, I knew where I was going, and you know, I felt like, you know, this this next adventure was gonna give me all the answers. And now having graduated college, I see that that's obviously not the case. You know, I'm still in a place where it's not like I've got my whole life figured out and you know, I've got my career chosen and things like that. So, you know, I've had a lot of changes, a lot of things happening, a lot of like reconstructing ideas of like who Shauna is, but I feel like I kind of lost myself a little bit in college. I think I wasn't expressing myself in a creative way anymore. And I wasn't, I didn't have like a lot of outlets. Like I didn't have a lot of people to go to. Um, I was going through a lot of different things in college, whether it was relationships with family or with, you know, intimate relationships. I was experiencing like just like different things and just experiencing just like really hard shit like really hard shit and it took a lot of that to just kind of figure out certain things but with all of that comes like this kind of idea of like okay now where does that leave me like all of these things have been going on in my life and you know I've, I've, I've actually accomplished the things that I've set out to do thus far and now it kind of just gives me this idea of like this sense of like what's next and you know where are my purpose is and like who does Shauna want to be I've been doing a lot of self-reflection and self-talk and you know what I always do when I'm going through things or it's a situation with a person or you know a misunderstanding or whatever I I like try to like reflect back on well not I try I do because like it I overthink and fester and just think of things that I should have done better and how I should have dealt with it better. And a lot of times I'm at fault. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times it's like, Shauna, you could have communicated how you felt. You could have avoided this by doing this and by doing this. You know what I'm saying? 
I've been having a lot of self-talks because I feel like a lot of my past issues have come from conflict that could have easily been avoided with communication. And I think that just comes with like the level and like the age that I'm at because I feel like everyone at my age is kind of maneuvering that communication and like how to have those hard conversations with people without being defensive or being malicious, you know. It's important to communicate like in your relationships with people. And then in turn on the opposite end of that, it's like if someone is communicating to you how they feel about something and you know, you completely don't agree. You're like, I don't, this is not my intention. Like, this isn't what's happening. Like, this is not how I'm seeing it. You know, if that person is somebody that you value as a friend or as a, somebody in your life, take a step back and evaluate what is going on and what is this person feeling and take away your preconceptions about like, what you think you know what i'm saying like take all that away strip it away and try to see them for who they are and like know that like if they're not coming to you with ill intentions or if they're not being malicious then you should it's in your best interest to approach them in a in a respectful way and hear them out like Hear your friends out and if you feel attacked if you feel like someone's coming at you you should probably reevaluate that too because if someone's just telling you about how your actions affected them as a friend it's on you to make sure that you fix that and like you make sure that you're not hurting the people that matter to you you get what i'm saying the way that i've dealt with things in the past could have been handled like better 100 percent and that's where the learning comes from. That's where like the self-reflection comes from. It's like, how can I improve? Like, how can I make it so that the next person I meet is not gonna just leave because they think I'm intimidating or that I'm not an easy person to talk to. Like, I'm not gonna change who I am, but maybe I can deliver my message in a different way. Maybe I can say it with a different tone maybe i can approach it differently to adjust to the person i'm talking to so it's just like stuff like that that i've just been that's just like that's just been on my mind recently a lot's been happening and it makes when some when a lot's going on like this it makes me want to reflect even more on myself because a lot of times i can be the problem a lot of times you're the problem. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'm rambling, but I just, there's just been a lot on my mind, a lot going on. Make sure that you approach the people in your life with respect and common decency to know that like they are a person first, although they are your friend, they are a person first. Not okay to always be so high strong and always be that aggressive figure and I this is something that I've had to tell myself it's okay to put that wall down and I think the reason why I have to tell myself that is because I subconsciously just assume that everyone around me and not all the time I'm just saying like I'm like in like general like you know we assume that people are gonna hurt us and that like they're not gonna have anything valuable to bring to our life that we don't already have, you know? Like, I don't know, sometimes we as people, we just have like this attitude towards meeting new people that I think hinders us from growing and like meeting new people and, and building new relationships with others. So it's something I've had to learn to do recently and just like over the course of like the few years that I've known my girlfriend, just like stepping outside of like, that idea that everyone's gonna hate you when you walk into a room and instead of thinking that way just kind of like having more of a positive mindset about you know possibly meeting someone that could change your life i don't know where i'm going with this i'm just like kind of rambling a little bit but you know don't be so hard on the outside you know it's okay to let people in it's okay to allow people to get to know who you are because at the end of the day, we don't have like, we don't have any say over, you know, how someone's gonna feel about us. It's, it's we have a say over how we present ourselves to the world. And if you walk into a room and 
you're just your full self and you're giving yourself to the world and you're not received well then that room of people is just not for you and they and you are not for them like, i'm kind of working on that as well just you know trying to break down my own walls about meeting new people because of my own personal insecurities it's okay to give people a chance to be in your life and i feel like that's just something i have to continuously tell myself like girl not everyone is hating on you like that girl is probably thinking oh my god she looks so good you know what i'm saying like it's just like stepping away from all those bullshit ideas about like the world like because there are just so many other things that i'm dealing with internally that it's like i don't need to be feeling like there are you know what I mean? Like I need to just deal with what I'm dealing with and stop making up all these scenarios in my head to overwhelm myself when they're not even close to true. Do you get what I'm saying? Like don't waste your time on shit that's, you know, uncertain, you know, not even true, fucking bullshit. Like you don't even waste your brain power thinking about it. So I'm gonna be using a uh, blush from this e.l.f. quad. I have broken one of the blushes just because I travel. Uh, so it broke in traveling. So I'm just gonna go in with this tan color and a little bit of the pink color that I can grab. I like this tan color because it gives me more of a bronze look and not so much of a pinky blush look, but it adds more color to my face, which is what I like anyway. right now you guys i have to work on like my next purchase is to get a better mirror um this youtube thing has been a very like fun experience but it takes a lot of work to you know get quality shit up and then also you know like things like a background and having certain storage for certain things and you know, there's different things that kind of go into it. And living with a bunch of other people and you have like one bedroom. It's kind of like when you live at home with your parents, you know? I'm practically living at home with my parents because these are my in-laws, but um, you know, like it's kind of like you don't really have the space, the capacity to do absolutely any and everything you want to in the creative space of YouTube. So, you know, things have to come slowly to me. I have to slowly get things here and there, you know? So it is a work in progress, but I feel like it's so humbling to know this is where I'm starting. Like, and it's okay. Like, even if no one watches this video, it's like, I'm still okay because I still feel really good about what I'm putting out there. And I feel like it's gonna be received well by someone, even if, you know, I don't have a million subscribers, like someone's gonna resonate with me. Someone's going to enjoy me. And I hope that that is you and that you are subscribed down below. Let me just put that in there. Let's use the Urban Decay D Slick. Uh, this is a travel side. I'm, um, I'm gonna pop on some mascara. The mascara I'm gonna be using today is the Voluminous uh, Mascara by L'Oreal.
but this is how we're looking i'm gonna just slide this baby off you know? and this is our hair i love the braid i have been wanting to do this on myself for like a minute now so i'm kind of hyped that i did it i feel like it, i did a pretty good job for the first time like i'm not gonna lie she's not perfect but she's cute so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to figure out what i'm gonna wear and then we're gonna pop it on So I'm gonna pop on these hoops. I think they're so cute. I love like hoops with like a casual ass outfit. Like there's nothing like a, like a good hoop. And I've never worn these before because it was really hard for me to get them out of the packaging for some reason. Like they wouldn't come undone. It was like a little bit stuck, but I finally just like ripped it and it came out and it didn't ruin the earring in any way. And then what I'm gonna do is, this is a necklace I wear every day. Thanks, shout out Boo. So this always matches with everything and it adds like the perfect amount of bling that I enjoy. As well as this cute little purse, the detailing is gold as well. So it matches my jewelry. So it's actually gonna work out perfectly. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that it was nice to just sit down with me and just talk, hear me talk, be engaged more, a little bit more engaged with me, get to know me a little bit better, and that you come back for more. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button, and don't forget to comment. Let's comment some star emojis i feel like a star i don't know this yellow is giving me star vibes i don't know like yellow and stars kind of are so connected for me i don't know so let's put up star emojis down below if we want to see more videos like this and until next time i will see you guys in the next video